Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis for the new Cahokia. We are doing a uh, lightning round right here. I'm probably just going to record one episode because that's about all I have time for. I realized it's Friday and the episodes I banked ran out yesterday and it has been a busy week at the Lore Sworn Order. So we just got done uh, kicking Spanish Florida's ass. We devastated the entire East Coast and then uh, pieced out by basically paying the Spanish back the money that they gave us when we s sold them Muskogee. So it was kind of a kind of a white piece if you look at it in a certain way. We still have the issue that uh, the nobles are in control of the government and I have been told by some very kind people that the way to get rid of this is uh, just to bite the bullet and take away all of their land. Um, because apparently, previously, I had not taken away enough for them to... Um, for them to... Uh, uh, be fully... or have their influence curbed yet. Um, but, while I'm doing this, I'm going to have to station armies in these provinces, because apparently when the nobles are disloyal... Um, they, uh, they will have a rebellion every time I try to take land away from them. The other thing we're going to do um, that I noticed, um, we have a five-year truce with Spain. They actually don't hate us as much as Florida does. Um, so I'm going to try to just improve relations with them, because that might prevent them from declaring war on us again once the truce is up. So... Yeah, I know. States demand control provinces. We're just going to keep uh, removing... Yeah, Rise of the Natchitoches nobility. You can go ahead and... Uh, just move around curbing noble authority, basically. We tried to... We tried to make ourselves a kingdom in the style of the Europeans who made contact with us, and it ended with a lot of people deciding the king should not be in control of the government. So we're having to fix that right now. <laughs> Restoring power to the king. That is our current order of business. Even if we have to kill every single so-called noble in our entire realm. And then we can lower army maintenance again and... Uh, is there a hotkey for this? So it's going to be B9. We're not acting in a B9 manner right now, but... Uh, that was really bad. I, I do apologize for that. Pensacola. Where are we at noble influence-wise? Yeah, we have to, we have to, apparently we have to remove a certain number of provinces from them before it'll even start dropping their influence, so. We're just gonna have a disloyal nobility in our country for the foreseeable future because it's better than, whoop, better than the alternative of having them be in control of the government forever. And then we will just never let them get above 60 influence, 65 influence again. Alright, our influence is starting to drop. Oh, wow. Taking away Tuskegee did the trick. I forgot that that province had like a zillion development. Um, Alright. So they have a loyalty level of zero, which is currently giving us... Um, quite a bit of manpower recovery and land maintenance penalties. Um, yeah. I wonder, can we just strip all of their land and start over? Like, is that an option? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and curtail the nobility. We're going to lose three stability. What are we at? Plus two. Yeah, we'll lose three stability and 25 prestige. We'll become a despotic monarchy. We yeah, have obviously. I think that's the government form we want right now. That's the one that gives you absolutism, right? Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and boost that back up to two because we have so much monarch power to spend. All right. 
so we are now no longer nobility curtailed. We've managed to limit the influence of the nobility to tolerable levels. Nobility privileges have been revoked and their properties reduced. The nobility themselves have grudgingly agreed that the king is the undisputed leader of this country. And the stamp formerly used by the nobility in place of his signature has been destroyed. <clears throat> now, I'm willing to give them some land back. Um, we just don't want their influence to get above 60, and we're not going to give them any of these rich provinces. So I'm just going to give them some of their land along the coast back. Sixty... 64. That's about all I'm willing to give you guys. Um, they expect to control 10% and they control 19%. That's That should be more than enough. They're still disloyal. Um, past actions towards the estate. Unless they demand more territory, it will change towards 50% every month. So... They'll be loyal eventually. For now, we're going to be hurting, but that's all right. Let's, uh, let's get our affairs in order here. We need to get out of debt. So, nope, oh, that's fleet maintenance. That's not going to do anything. We're going to set our army maintenance to minus two. And until we get out of debt, we're not going to do any, um, we're not going to do any colonizing. Can we annex the Navajo yet? Two more years. Provincial unrest, that should go away pretty soon. And we're still waiting for institutions before we start teching again. So, um, yeah, that's our situation. I think we can... I'll we'll wait for one more tick. Timber surplus. Minus five ship cost. We should get around to building a navy at some point. Growing city. Um, yeah, we'll definitely take 15 loyalty from the merchant guilds and two base tax. And they gain control of a province. That's fine. Let's recall our diplomat from France and El well, Navajo are already fully, fully good. So we should actually keep our diplomat in France for now. <clears throat> so despite being still technologically behind, we've kind of proven that we're on a level where we can compete with the uh, Europeans militarily, which I hope is going to make people think twice about messing with us. So we've got our, our opinion is going up with Spain. They're still hostile towards us, but we'll see if we can't change that. Improvements in naval technology. Um, let's use caution. We're already fighting inflation as it is. Diplo power has maxed out, so we're going to go ahead and use that to promote some mercantilism. And um, what else was I looking for? Oh yeah, I was going to wait for the next tick before I reduce inflation. I've actually been reading a lot of comments that reducing inflation is a waste of money in EU4, but... I don't know. I have certain weird little idiosyncratic things where it's just like I've been playing the game for this long successfully that I feel like it's hard for me to get out of being set in my ways. Um, yeah, we're going to maintain our diplomat in Spain. French Mexico, I'm not super worried about. They're threatened by us. Whoop. So we'll we'll grab this diplomat and we'll send him. How does England feel about us or Great Britain? They're neutral. Let's just get them on a little bit of a better footing here. I'm also gonna keep institutions map mode up since that's the. The interesting thing we've got going for us right now. Diplomatic CB against the Navajo. They've insulted us. 
You're gonna be part of us pretty soon, guys. I wouldn't be wouldn't be going around insulting people. I might also pull some loans to embrace this institution once we get a province. Let's see, how how close is this to Cahokia? It's like two provinces away. I'd like to get it to spread there, because that's gonna greatly decrease the cost of embracing it. <clears throat> Expiring CB Disloyal estates. They're coming around. I was panicked there for a little bit, because I thought that there was... When we were taking land away from the nobles and it wasn't doing anything, I thought that meant that we were never going to be able to curb the power of the nobility, but... Apparently I just hadn't taken away enough land. And apparently I should have never given them to Tuskegee, so... Still waiting to refill our armies here. Unhappiness among the artisans. Let's... Stability. Yeah, we can pay for it. Now let's abolish tax. We can wait to repay those loans. Secrets in our alliance. This is the dumbest event. Like, I don't ever... I don't care. I really don't care about spy network progress in, in our allies. Uh, looks like we can start uh, annexing Navajo at this point. As soon as our diplomat gets back from Europe, quarantine the port. Influenza is not good. All right. So that'll free up another Diplo slot. We already have the Arapaho allies, right? And they still don't want to be our vassal. Nope, they do not. So I'm wondering who else we could ally with. If we could support the independence of any of these colonies, that would be great. Maybe the Pueblo. Pueblo might want to help us out. Do they? Are they still tribal? Yeah, they're still native council. So the Pueblo are still way behind in terms of uh, technology. We might... Colonize Teos or Chikorilla just so we can give them a fist bump and get them on our level. Are we at our force limit? Yes, we're exactly at our force limit. So when you're next to Navajo, we're probably going to have to expand some armies. So we don't go into debt. And boom! Integrating Navajo. We are now... Over our force limit, so we're going to disband this. 23, 4, 7, 24, 4, 8. Don't know how that happened. Alright, we'll just disband one of these empty units of mountain warriors. How is that institution coming along? Alright. Manufactories. Not even close. Okay. Uh, we'll keep supporting mercantilism. So we are going to need to wait for it to spread to some more provinces first. Before we can embrace it. Zero point eight of development. At least it's spreading fairly quickly to uh, towards Cahokia. Truce with New Grenada has ended. Truce with Spain has ended. Truce with Pacifico Norte has ended. Truce with Florida has ended. Um, let's... They don't want an alliance yet. Let's improve relations with the Pueblo. We want... Or maybe the Comanche. Yeah, they're already westernized, so actually I'd rather I'd rather get the Comanche on our side. They're rivals with the Arapaho. So maybe the Arapaho wouldn't like that. Alright, we'll go with the Pueblo. Renewed alone. Means we can probably reduce inflation here. Why are we suddenly paying so much more 
Fort maintenance, colonial maintenance. We still have colonies running, apparently. Still have disloyal estates. We're getting there. Okay, cool. Our colony in Illinois is finished. That'll give us some cash to work with. Local Ford expert discovered. Defensiveness in one province or a military engineer. Let's let them stay home. Are the Hurons still enemies with the Iroquois? Oh, they would become our vassal. Screw the Pueblo. What trade note are they in? Ohio? Oh, yeah, I get that Ohio trade value. Okay, Alliance, Royal Marriage. I think they have to have a 190 opinion of us before we can actually we'll proclaim a guarantee on them. Free province, basically. Ask for military access. Cheap iron. Excellent. We could take some minus to artillery cost. We'll offer them military access. Okay, noble influence has gone down, so we can give them a little bit more land to help bring their loyalty up a little faster. So that would bring it to 56. This is going to bring it to 59. Um, Alabama would bring it to 61. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to give them any more than that. So that'll get them. That'll get them unhappy, or that'll get them happy faster. Uh, Huron. Prove relations. How's our absolutism doing? Now that we're out of that disaster. It's climbing back up again. We need to reestablish our legitimacy, but it's climbing back up again. <clears throat> Cherokee in a mood to be our vassals yet? Nope. Iroquois surely aren't. They're too big. And if the Iroquois aren't going to colonize this province, we might as well, because the Brits can't get to it. Thanks to our soon-to-be new vassals, the Huron. So if you think about the Chickasaw Confederacy, we own basically everything this side of the Appalachians, except for Newfoundland and, and Mexico. Keep on promoting that mercantilism. Well, Spain has not immediately declared war on us, so apparently our diplomat worked. Yeah, they're no longer hostile. They're now neutral. So we're going to keep that diplomat there for the foreseeable future. Naval research is wrong. We can lose five prestige. That's okay. And I think we're about to the point where we can pay back a loan. Let's see. Our smallest loan. Influenza, of course. Yeah, we're almost there. Currently paying how much on interest? 279, which is quite a quite a large percentage of our current outgoing expenses. There we go. Economy's bouncing back. Once our land maintenance modifier isn't costing extra because the nobles are pissed, it'll be even better. I don't think I've ever had this much tension within a state before. 
Okay, they are starting to colonize up this way, so we have to make sure that we colonize Arapaho before French Mexico does. Um... Arapaho is part of colonial Mexico, so they are going to get a little irritated at us for that. 